This video is sponsored by DAP Canada. More on their products later. DIY friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny, and today's DIY in progress is gonna be a good one because I am not alone today on my channel. I have a buddy friend, and that's Sam, the DIY huntress. She wanted to come in weird. We're gonna, we're gonna let her do this. <laughs> Sam came all the way down from her wonderful abode in Long Island because I needed some help and I needed Buddy to get some builds done in a weekend and there's no better person to build with than you. Oh. <laughs> we are doing two big outdoor furniture builds, one day Buddy builds. So on Sam's channel, we are going to be building a beautiful big harvest table in one day. We actually did it, in, I know nobody's gonna believe us, but I swear we did it in one day. <laughs> we did it yesterday. And this is day two, and now we are going to be building a coffee table that's gonna kind of match it. So we have a one day build ahead of us. I hope you're excited. Let's get started. Editor, roll the tape. Boop. <laughs> It's a DIY channel. Breakdown. Sam and I worked out a moderately concrete plan. Let me, let me, let me be normal. What's, what's normal? I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, you're being weird. This is what our drawing looked like, so if you can decipher that, then we should be good. You guys got it? <laughs> but we do have a plan and we set up the tent out here today. Because every time we build together, we need to build in a tent. Actually, that's true. Last time we built together, we did build in a tent. <laughs> Maybe we should build a tent next time. It's like basically an adult blanket fort. Let's do it. Oh my God. Please comment below if you want to see an adult blanket for fort be made. You built a fort, didn't you? Kind of. <laughs> This coffee table is very much going to match the dining table. And if you want to see the dining table, you can head over to Sam's channel to check that out after this. I will link it down below. And I promise you, we are making this so simple that anybody can build this coffee table in one day with a buddy. You get it? Because it's a buddy build. So cute. I just want to yeah. say it over and over again. So we are building this coffee table with beautiful red cedar. So we need to cut this down. We are doing 29 by 29. So we are going to measure this to be 31 inches, even though we want it to be 29, because we're going to be ripping one inch off the ends so that it's nice and square. So just in case if all the boards are a little bit longer than each other, you can always square it up later. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about things like this, because it really pays off to give it a professional finish. So let's get started. Let's get started. That's a that's a DIY huntress one. I did that for you. So one cool thing that Sam taught me this weekend is about wood grain direction. When you're doing tabletops, you wanna make sure that the direction of these little ringlets are always going opposite of each other so that your table doesn't bow. Whoa. All right, now that we have the tabletop all screwed up together, we're going to trim the edges so that when we go to build underneath, at least it's all squared up. I wanted this coffee table to be a perfect square because I am eventually going to be getting furniture. It is an L-shaped couch, so I wanna make it super square. Look at that. Oh, look at that. I think there's a, like a really nice color pattern that's gonna come out of this. <laughs> Buy the drink first. <laughs> <laughs> We have ripped a bunch of the two by eight boards that we had 
into two by two pieces because these are going to make the apron underneath and also the legs. Now all we need to do is start pocket holing these bad boys so that we can screw everything together. Also, for everyone here, oh. I made Sam watch Star Wars last night for the first time. Can you believe we're friends and I've never watched Star Wars? It is useless to resist. I had to give her an entire breakdown of the like the whole anthology of Star Wars in literally under like five seconds so that she could understand what was happening in Kenobi. Good thing you're good looking. <laughs> <laughs> and seven eighths sounds right <laughs> <laughs> Why do we choose the weirdest <laughs> measurements for this table, Danny? I don't know. We have our base here, which looks lovely. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add three pieces on the inside that are going to be the cross braces that are going to help us give some stability to the tabletop, but then also attach it to the table. But we thought we'd be fancy and we are going to dowel the ends because it actually will match the table. So they feel kind of like a family, you know, like the, the dining table to the coffee table. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. We have a table base, we have a table top. They look great. There are a few spots though that need to get filled in with wood fill just so that you see like around the dowels, those need to get fixed up. We have a couple pieces on the top, all these knots. We really need to fill them in so that, you know, it just looks a little bit more professional and it has a nicer finish. It looks great, but it can look better. And I'm gonna tell you how. Let's go to the she shack. Oh, she followed me. Okay. <laughs> so I actually have two wood filler products here. Both of these are perfect for indoor and outdoor builds. Honestly, I had no idea this was an indoor and outdoor wood fill. So I was just like, <sighs> but we've never actually nerded out about wood filler on this channel before. And as you know, Daft Canada is sponsoring this video. And as I was deep diving into wood fill, I just ended up learning so many great tips. So I kind of wanted to help you feel more informed on your future wood fill choices in a quick segment that I would like to call filling you in. You like that? Let's start with the DAP Premium Wood Filler, which is a custom three-in-one wood filler, grain filler, and sealer coat. Now, first and foremost, what makes this wood filler unique is that it comes white. This wood filler has a chameleon technology. It allows you to mix this filler with stains and other pigments in its wet state, and you can create an exact match to your wood. That's kind of like a color-changing chameleon. It's also sink, shrink, and crack resistant. It's fast drying, it's easy to sand, it's really easy to clean up with water and then depending on what you want your final project to look like this filler is also great at filling in the wood grain if you pop this bad boy on top of that first give it a light sand and then paint your cabinet doors or whatever you're painting it's just going to leave it looking super smooth now the second one i have is the wood pro x all-purpose dry decks with a dry time indicator built into it so if you are familiar with my channel you've seen me use this product before i love it so much because when you open it it's pink and it applies on pink, but it dries a natural color. It's like literally magical. But if you're super impatient like me and you never know how long to wait until the wood filler is dry, this takes that away because you just need to wait until it turns a natural color. It completely removes the guessing game away. It actually applies especially well on vertical surfaces. It's stainable, it's paintable, it has shrink crack and crumble resistant, and it's low odor. Kind of smells like cookie dough if I'm being honest. <laughs> There is also the Wood Pro all-purpose latex wood filler, which is primarily basically the same as this, but it's just not pink. So there's no dry time indicator built into it. So it will show up as natural. Now, this one is not as ideal for grain filling, but for your general DIY projects, they are great choices to get the job done. Sam and I are gonna be using the Wood Pro X with the dry decks because I just love that it's pink and uh, I don't like to play no guessing games. So if you wanna learn more about any of these products, I have a bunch of information in my description box so go check it out click the links and now that you're filled in i'm filled in let's go fill in that coffee table Woohoo!
Okay, we have a top, we have the base, and now we have a way to attach the base to the top. Sam and I have been going back and forth about how we want this to look. <laughs> I really wanted to give this a rustic look, but then I'm like, oh, but I really like the, kind of like the modern appeal. It's like a one day build of this one day. I think half of it's been spent trying to figure out if we're going rustic or modern. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. I think we should make this rustic. I love a good rustic look. And to do that, we're gonna be using the grinder to kind of like remove material from the top and kind of give it like a really kind of funky feel. We did a tester piece with the stain that we're gonna be using. And as you can see, it's a little bit more textured. It's kind of got some bumps and bruises, like it's seen some stuff. It's been through some stuff. I need some therapy, I think. <laughs> I kind of like that look. I mean, I personally love that look. I love to give a faux rustic look, so. No regrets! No, no regrets! No regrets! <laughs> because one person works while one person drinks coffee and the job still gets done. Right, Sam? <laughs> Table under the seat. DIY Huntress. <laughs> Woo! Oh, she's so cute. All right, let's bring this coffee table to the backyard. Let's see it in its full glory. Three quarter day build. So much time for activities. Wow, what will we do with our time? DIY friends. Okay, future Danny coming here. And I'm saying future Danny because Sam isn't here right now. She actually has already gone home back to Long Island. I want to show you this. This is the coffee table that we built. But the reason why we built it to this size and this dimension was because I was getting a beautiful beautiful new outdoor couch sent to me from Article and it finally arrived. So I'm going to unbox it right now on camera for you. We're gonna see this coffee table in its full glory and then at the end, Sam and I are going to be back together without this couch, so just so you know. But we do have some very exciting news, so make sure you stay to the end. Let's unbox these Article couches. Can't wait to see them, I hope you're excited. So the couch that I am opening up here is called the Lubeck Sectional. I am obsessed with this couch. It's so beautiful. It has a sturdy steel frame. It's made with solid acacia wood and it has weather resistant cushions, which is great for my weather in Canada. The article is just, it's such great high quality furniture and it's just designed to last. And I was just so happy when I found it because it's beautiful. Gonna take a little seat here. This is nice. This is actually super comfortable. Wow. So I am going to clean up my mess and then I will get our coffee table in here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's perfect. Let's bring this scene together. Woohoo! sad that this episode is coming to an end that this buddy build is over and you're leaving tomorrow I, I don't want to go home i'm gonna cry this was such a great project so easy to create and like it looks so beautiful i'm glad that we went with a bit of a rustic twist with this one it really also like brings both of our styles into both the builds like i love that yeah it really does i still want to build an adult blanket for it like i feel like it needs <laughs> to happen but you guys should let us know what did you think of this coffee table build and of course a big thank you to the sponsor of this episode so Dab Canada, if you want to learn about any of the products I talked about in this episode, it is linked in my description box. Also, friends, we have a really exciting announcement. We got so inspired by this buddy build that Sam and I decided to team up and make a really cool piece of merch so that you all can celebrate your buddies that you build with. So we came up with buddy build t-shirts. That's like kind of the cutest thing ever. I know. So one friend will get the buddy, the other friend will get the build, but together they create buddy builds. 
I'm so excited about this. I do too. So right now, in the description box, you can go and click the link and buy our Buddy Build t-shirt. Oh, are you going to be Buddy or are you going to be Build? Oh. I don't know. We didn't think about this. <laughs> we didn't plan this one out. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, a big thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you for cheerleading me on and thank you for being such a big part of my world. If you want to check out my Patreon, it is linked in the description box below. And also then in my description box, I have linked Sam's episode where we build a giant harvest table in one day. But like actually we built a in giant In one table. day. And it's gorgeous. So make sure you head over there. And of course, my friends, as always, stay positive, stay creative, and keep on DIYing. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>